What we're going to be demonstrating here is the Model 3 tube bender, which JD Squared originally developed back in the 80s. Um, could very well be the world's most popular bender, at least in the fabrication of race cars is concerned. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to put a die in it and the basic operations of the machine. First thing we need to do is obviously put a die in the machine. So let's do that. Notice the drive link doesn't fall out. Here's our dies right here. They're all meticulously machined. We have our own profile and a groove that we determined over about a quarter of a century works the best. Pop the die in there, drop the top pin through, get that hole through there, and that's your die in there. If you notice out here, what we have is a, just a very simple, um, just nothing really more than a piece of welding rod that we use as a pointer system. And we do that for the fact that um, if, you, if you mangle it or destroy it, you could easily just make yourself another one with material laying around the stop instead of having to buy like a magnet or something like that. Anyway, the second thing you're going to need to do is drop the drive pin in and at this point the bender's ready to operate and you can see how the drive link will pull it around. Now let's pop the tubing in it and what I do is I typically put the die in first of course and then I like to put the U-strap on. Some people put the follow bar in and then fiddle with feeding the tubing through it it just creates unnecessary problems because I have lots of room to work right here so we can just pop this thing right in here. Now what we're bending right here is actually our number one sell and die. Um, very easy stuff to bend, it's one inch tubing. What this is here, this bolt here is on most of our dies, um, that at least the ones that use the ratchet as operation. And what it's going to do is it's going to prevent the tubing from sliding back through the tubing, uh, through the die set as you're bending. This will help prevent wrinkling and other ill effects that we definitely don't want to see. Next comes the follow bar. If you notice, the shiny material is not aluminum. Um, it's a very special material, aerospace type stuff. And essentially, its claim to fame is it's anti-galling. Um, really doesn't even need to be lubricated. In this particular situation, we're not going to lubricate it here either. Um, all of the dies, follow bars I mean, are marked with the word top and hole four. All the holes are labeled right down to fender. So it's pretty easy to get it in the right one, make sure you've got it right. So what we're going to do is take the follow bar pin. Go to hole four, right up here, put the pin in, and now we're actually ready to bend. Now, what I've done is I pulled on drive link, I've taken the pressure out off the, off the um, I'm sorry, I've taken the slack out of the bender, and then we'll adjust this thing to zero degrees. It's a little bit long, so I'll tell you what, let's modify it. Bend it down, it shows you how ridiculously easy that is. All right, there you go, zero degrees right there. And what we're gonna do now is you simply pull the ratchet, Go to the next bend. Just pull it, go to the next one. I think this is 120 wall DOM, one inch, so it's really not much effort. Let's say you were bending something a little heavier. What you may want to do in a situation like that is um, put an extension into this handle right here. We supply it with this link handle for the simple fact that um, for some reason, um, as good a job as UPS and them do delivering for us, they had a lot of problems with handles because they were shipped separately and it turned out that the customer was paying more for the shipping than the actual material cost of the handle anyway. So what we did was we shortened the handle down right here, it's all telescoping, it'll pull in and pull out, to basically fit in the box, you know. And it works very well for, um, you know, inch and up to inch and a half, 095, beyond that, you may want to think about using a, um, a what you call it, a longer extension, in which case it's going to be inch and a quarter pipe available from your local Home Depot. About one more pull and we're going to be at 90 degrees. Maybe a little beyond it. Anyway, remove the follow bar. Put the pin back in. Take that out just to get it out of the way. And let's loosen up our bolt, which I dropped the wrench on the floor. Remove the follow, remove the use strap. And there's our bend right there. Now that's a one inch, three inch radius. Once again, it's our, our most popular die by actually a large factor, just because so many different kind of race cars, et cetera, use that particular die. If you notice the bend quality, that's pretty much what you're gonna get with a JD squared bender. Um, I think, and I think that's pretty much it. She supplied complete ratchet mechanism, the whole bit. Basically, you need a bender, you need a die set. Everything else comes with it, a degree ring, all that comes with it. And there's your Model 3 right there.